New at 10, before the violence in Sherman Park, Milwaukee saw 22 shootings in just 10 days. Jonah Kaplan talking to two families impacted by a summer of bloodshed. George and Carol, those numbers are astounding. An average of about two shootings per day. They do not involve police and they do not discriminate against men and women. 6.30 on a Monday evening. This family meets for a vigil, not for a family dinner. I love my baby so much and I miss her. Terry McDaniel's daughter Paris was killed Sunday afternoon near 27th and Lisbon. Investigators say the 32-year-old mother of two was shot after an argument. Her father hopes other parents never have to feel his pain. To, to just stand strong for your child and, and do everything you can to try and let them know that, that life is so important. The sad truth is that McDaniel is hardly alone in his grief. MPD crime analysts report 22 shootings in Milwaukee have killed 10 people just in the last 10 days. Victims include men and women ages 20 to 52. The gunfire also left 18 people hurt, including 13-year-old Aki Beston. Beston's uncle says Aki is still in the hospital eight days after getting shot during a fight outside his home near 4th and Chambers. It really ain't the police. It's the gun who come in people's hands and stuff, and they don't know how to shoot. In 2016, the total number of homicides, 82. That's below the pace of last year, but far above any other year in the past decade. In Milwaukee, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. Thank you, Jonah. Two of those 20